Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. I'm getting my voice back. How are you today? Hey, listen, I was just, you know, walking yesterday and then thinking this morning, which is when those two things happen inside of my brain that make me come up with videos to do and things to say. And I was thinking how gosh golly, golly proud I am of the work that you do. Think about it. If you've been following Weight Watchers and you made the transition and or um, you switched to uh, low carb, high fat, or you're doing something totally even more rogue than low carb, high fat, just think of the work that you put into yourself. Think of that wonderful investment that you do. The tracking, the shopping for the food, the learning how to read labels and not getting duped by the dubious ingredients, the preparing, the packing for work, the unpacking, the washing of the containers, the, and then coming home and having dinner. You know, the work that you do is phenomenal. It really is. It's quite an investment. And then some people have the, the nerve to expect you to exercise on top of that. Wow. And if you've lost weight, then you have to shop for smaller clothes. Clothes, I mean, it's just, it never stops. But think of the investment. Think of the, um, reflect back on the attitudes of adjustment <laughs> that you've had to have. Think of the withdrawal from the crap that you used to eat, the stuff that you used to buy, the things that you even thought early on made it okay. Some of those processed foods, the garbage, carbage, right? Carbage is carbs and garbage combined. Think of that stuff that you used to put into your body, and you might have even entered the programs and were told that these foods are okay, and you never flipped over the bag flip over a bag of grated cheese and read what's in it. It is not just cheese. Forget what's in regular cheese when you buy a block of cheese to like make something. Like if I was making my egg parm and I bought just grated mozzarella. Read the back of those labels and you think it's just this innocent dairy product and it's a convenience food. They add all kinds of stuff to it. So then you buy the mozzarella balls like I did with um, when I made my first batch of egg parm, which I'm going to make again. It was so divine. Um, I bought the mozzarella balls, and I'm telling you, it gummed up my new food processor. <laughs> it was incredible. And yet, it was worth it because it's not filled. The fillers that they put, I heard wood fillers. I don't even know what some of those chemicals are. But just, I just want you to give yourselves a hug and a pat on the back for all the work, all the investment, all that you've been willing to do to really finally, finally make a difference in your life with the food that you eat and how your body responds to it. It's really, it really is quite interesting and it really is quite an investment. It's just amazing. So that being said, we're oh, just pat, pat, pat. And if you're done hugging yourselves, go back to listening and having your coffee. Yesterday, I went to Star Market, which is also known as Albertsons at some places and Shaw's at some places. And they have their new line of organic food. And they have, yeah, they even have organic processed food, which is still crap. Um, but they have organic eggs and organic um, meats. And so they had this special, um, they have this special this week. And if you buy $25 worth of O for meaning organic or O N meaning open nature, you'll get $5 back immediately. So I trotted over to my little local handy dandy tiny star market. It's very tiny, but they do a nice job. It's kind of, it's kind of like reminds you of a high end thing with their produce. They really do a nice job. And their fish department's really, really good, too. So anyway, I got, um, this is all um, 
organic or grass-fed, lamb shanks, turkey thighs, two packages of grass-fed beef, 18 organic eggs, and um, then I, went, I tried it over to Stop and Shop and I got their um, organic Nature's Promise Italian sausage. And I am just going to have a cook fest. I made my lamb shanks yesterday. Now, I have never made them, but if I've ever been in a fancy schmancy restaurant and I wasn't doing seafood, I would do lamb shanks. And when I was looking up the recipe on Google, and Paulina, if you, if you ask me what the recipe is, it's it just Google um, how to braise lamb shanks, and you'll get all kinds of great recipes that are gluten-free. And um, I used one that has, it wasn't dredged through flour, and it wasn't, um, there was no red wine added to it. And it still came out unbelievable. Did not eat it yet, but when they showed the picture, they had a mound of mashed potatoes with the lamb shank just sitting, just sitting right on top of it. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I am going to make some whipped uh, Red Bliss potatoes. That will be rare and appropriate for me to have with it. And, um, oh, and also um, a minimum, minimally processed turkey breast, fresh, that um, I will partially cook and then we will finish off on the grill. So there are some good foods coming from this little house this week. Of course, this is the week I have the colonoscopy, so one night I won't be eating any of it. But anyway, so, um, yeah, and they put on the dog because they're really rolling out the open nature um, meats and um, and then to have that special. So I just wanted to alert you guys that they have more choices than usual and that I was very delighted to find lamb shanks. And I also got Smithfield two center cut pork chops um, to cook. I fry mine in um, saute gently in coconut oil and then, then I do Greg's in his um, beloved shake and bake. So, and I don't mind because we both get what we want. But they, it says no hormones, um, no fillers, no steroids. Anyway, so it seems it's not really grass-fed organic, but um, it seems that there's less um, things done to those little, um, those little pork products. So, um, and I've bought their baby back ribs that say the same thing on them. So I'm hoping that Smithfield isn't pulling our legs and that there is more care um, with the animal and also with the processing. So that's, that's what I've got to say today. So congratulate yourself for the work. It takes a lot, especially if you have to rein yourself in after the Christmas season. It, it could have been brutal. It might have been. And um, this is probably the first couple of weeks of uh, fulfilling the promises that you made to yourself, not necessarily resolutions, but um, after you had all your your um, traditional foods that maybe weren't on your program, you were going to get back to business and begin weighing yourself and tracking your food and drinking more water and making an effort to do your steps. One of my co-workers got the 10,000 step thing and she's doing it and I'm very proud of her too. So I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of the work because if you're doing what I'm doing it is a lot of work and it it's totally for you and it how awesome is that especially if you've grown up as an American woman where it's kind of been told to us to not only be beautiful and sex ready at all the time at all times but to also be able to cook and provide for your family and kind of be selfless so um, no wonder women get their hair um, streaked or colored or cut and their um, nails done. It's like the only time that they can really get something done for themselves. And oh, by the way, I saw an ad yesterday. I'm thinking of doing it. These two gray-haired women were um, standing behind this woman with one of those spiky, choppy haircuts and she had purple all the way through it. And, um, and then in the next clip they show them going to their 50th um, high, well, their, their high school reunion, which is class of 68, which is me, 
and they've got their gray hair with some purple in the front, and one of them has my hair cut. I think I might do it. I think I might get some purple added into my hair. I'm so excited. This is going to be fun. So anyway, that's it for the day. This might air tomorrow on Sunday. Bonus! Or on um, Messy Monday, but I'll probably do a Messy Monday one. So this will probably air tomorrow. So pat yourselves. Give yourselves a hug. You're doing it. You're doing it. Take some time out to really put it together this weekend. If last weekend didn't quite happen, but um, make it happen this weekend for you. You will be smiling as big as you can smile and so darn proud of yourselves like I am of you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Bye-bye for now.